Hello and welcome guys to Let's Play Desktop Dungeons with me, Mac Gunner Bunny. And uh, last time what we did was we played as wizard. For the first time I played as wizard and it was fucking awesome. We destroyed the normal dungeon, we unlocked this one, we unlocked this one, we unlocked the sorcerer snake pit I meant from this one and uh, we also unlocked a new enemy I do not remember what they exactly were I, th I, I do not remember but this time I'm gonna be playing as snake in a snake pit not as a snake pit okay so let's see what we are we are a wizard as we know and uh, here is our enemies that we cannot do anything to so we would ignore them and uh, we would pick our first item we are not gonna turn it to anything am I an elf? I'm not an elf I'm a human guys actually that, this is not this is gonna go nowhere because I need elf to be able to convert the runes to maximum mana Okay, I can kill this guy. Guess what? I will. And I can kill this guy too. But he's gonna piss me off. Okay, this... Uh, nah. Uh, okay, so you don't know this new... These enemies. If you haven't played it. This is a snake. And he has poison. Is uh, It's not like regular things that it damages you but it's way more annoying it stops your regeneration and it drains all of your mana but it usually does but recently it hasn't been doing it which is pretty cool but I don't know why but there is another one which is like a bandit that does the same thing and he actually does uh, burn your all, all of your money mana. so they are really annoying this guy uh, strikes permanently weakens a hero I first thought it's for the health but lately I think I found out it's more of a damage thing it's like negative 5% for damage excuse me I need to sneeze okay I'm back I'm back and I'm feeling better so we need the gold so we go grab that gold and uh, what's going on here to maximum mana always worth it let's go for it okay there okay ouch okay that was a misclick uh, thankfully it didn't go as wrong as it could have okay yay the first boss in last time we had only one boss this time we're gonna have two bosses which is fun in its own way you know the way which is not fun at all <laughs> pick that yes so right now I can go uh, attack him 8 and then no it's not gonna be enough okay I cannot kill any level 2's I can actually kill this guy that's good okay and this is the second one uh, it's getting proven to me that she is the only these two I mean like there is always a snake boss and a, a gar uh, medusa boss yes I actually am getting it it's usually like that so I believe that's how it works um, okay let's let's get an end to he is business here oh and right now I can have three attacks so three times four is twelve plus my attack I can kill him I in fact I will oh let's go actually kill this lady down here why because oh what I found out is I found out something about the experience which we are gonna experience it again okay so when I kill a level one I'm gonna get 
or someone in my level. I'm gonna get experience as the number of their level. For example, killing, killing a level 1 is gonna give you one experience. Or if I'm level 10, no, if I'm level 5, killing a level 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 will give me the experience equal to the number of their experience. Killing a stronger one than myself is gonna give me twice of their number experience okay so what happens is if if I kill I'm a level 7 for example okay and I kill a level 9 and uh, I level up I'm and I could have killed a level 8 and level up or not even level up okay I've been wasting that 8 uh, that eight uh, uh, experience that I could have get gotten from that level eight, so I will be trying to attack only one level higher higher than myself, except if I found myself to be wrong, which I would love to, because that just makes the game way more complicated. Mm, okay, we don't need you, do we? Okay, let me destroy this wall pretty quick and then destroy you quicker okay we have a god here Anur well guys whenever I have been praying for this lady she has destroyed me okay but since I'm dumb I will do it again worship because I think it's gonna make it fun so yes I I love this and I love this and this all so I hope it's not gonna bite me in my place so what we can do right now to get uh, her approval is doing this just spamming our goodies so can I get the magic bonus yet? Yes, beautiful. Leave. Okay. Yes, and as you can see right now, I have no more attacks. I have no other sources of attack other than my fireball. It's terrible. If you don't know right now. If you don't already know, it's terrible. Okay, so how much is it? Eight. So I need two to kill that guy up there. You mean... If you're a sorcerer, that's... uh Yeah, no. If you are... After killing, killing like, destroying a normal boss, normal hull with a sorcerer, it's gonna unlock you a new one, which is called... Uh, uh, what was it called? Um... Which is called uh, uh, Blood Mage. Yeah, Blood Blood Mage has this item. Let me don't spoil it for you. Oh, huh? what about that? <laughs> but actually, with him, it's possible. But right now, I don't know. I don't know about my chances. But that's the way that I chose. Right? Right. Can I kill him? Kill him. Uh, can I? I cannot. Okay, let me abuse my mana right now because I'm gonna level up killing him. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's because I totally need that 80. This one. Oh, it costs 50. And if I be able to get this one too, but wow, oh, that's that's too much. And none of these guys have any magic resistance, so that's okay. In a normal hold, you actually really need that, because there are like this new enemy. The later enemies are gonna have like 80 magic resistance, and yeah, they are just annoying. And as you heard that, that means uh, my time is done. So until the next time that I'm playing it, which is going to be the rest of this and today, I will say goodbye to you. Have a nice time. 
and do not forget to leave a like or click on that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Have a nice time.